In today's tip, you'll learn how to present if English is your second language. In yesterday's interview tip with Prez Vasilev, the 2013 world champion of public speaking, we talked about how he had the shortest speech in world championship history, less than seven minutes, 488 or 89 words. Later on in the afternoon, I had watched one of the semifinal competitions uh, for this year's world championship, and I noticed something interesting. There were three speakers who English is their second language and I had trouble connecting with them. Not because English is their second language, but because of the speed at which they spoke. This is the antithesis of what Prez talked about in his presentation yesterday. When you have English as a second language, you have to be so judicious about the words you use. You have to be very deliberate about which words you want to say. Rather than say three or four words, find the one word that will do. Rather than one sentence, find one word. What that enables you to do is slow down your pace. With fewer words, you can insert more silence. By doing that, you give the audience a chance to hear what you say. Well, if you're speaking in English and that's your second language, this holds true. If you're American or you're, you're British or you speak English as your first language and you're going to another country, maybe the Middle East, maybe Europe, do the same thing. Find the right words that convey the message you want to get across, that also uh, convey the, the, the emotions you're trying to portray. And slow down. You have to build more pauses in. If you do this, English as a second language, or whatever second language you're speaking in, will not be an issue. It will not confuse your audience. They won't lose you. They'll stay right with you. Talk to you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.